Good morning. It's Monday morning. Here we go. Week three, remote learning. Okay, so this morning we're going to have a series of a couple of videos, hopefully shorter ones where you can get in all the information you need. So first, we just want to talk about what today looks like and what's going on with um, remote learning. So we got an email last night from the school district, and it talked about how things are going to change a little bit. They've kind of tweaked um, the schedule for our learning and for teachers. You know, just like we do when we learn something new, we learn how things work, what doesn't work. Um, there's been a little bit of a change, and it's really meant to help the teachers be the best that they can be and give you all the information. You know, the important thing is all that feedback on all the work that you're doing. Did you do a good job? What did you get for a grade? Or what else could you do to make it just a little bit? better. So those are the kinds of things that we want to make sure that now that we've done a really good job of gotten you, you've become online, you're very familiar with what to do and how to do it. We want to make sure we're focusing on your work and giving you the, the feedback and the information you need so that you can really um, do that complete learning. So moving forward, teachers are going to be available from 8.15 to noon. So that means that if you need me to help you with something. The best time to reach me is going to be between 8.15 and noon. I'm gonna still keep my office hours around 8.30 to 9.30, but most of you know I'm pretty open and pretty available on that that um, that Google Meet most of the morning. So if you need help or if you have a question, just pop on. I'm usually here. Um, I might be in the middle of something with my kids, but I'm, I'm always quick to stop and give you a quick answer. Um, remember, if you do come onto Google Meets, Maybe it's one, for one of two reasons. Maybe you just want to come on and say hi. I had, there's still several of you I haven't seen, and I'd love to just chat with you, see how you're doing, um, whether you're in my classroom, in Mrs. Kerrigan's classroom, or Mr. Byron's room. Either way, just a quick hello would be, make me feel better. I miss seeing your smiling faces. Um, it, or you can get on if you have a real question or you need some information. So feel free to reach out either way. But I really, there's several of you I haven't seen, and I'm dying to talk to you. Okay, um, I think that's it for today. This week's um, homework is going to be posted in a video, so you have to watch the video to know what your homework is for today. Um, and then moving forward, the one thing I'm going to have you do is we're going to work more on projects. So an assignment that I give you is going to be something that you're going to do over several days rather than having to get up every morning and check your check the classroom to see what the work is for the day. It's going to be more of a bigger project that I kind of lay out for you that you can work on a little bit at, at a time. You know, with us being available only from 8 to 12, um, your schedule should be a little bit different. Um, we want you to really be working on science and social studies for about 25 to 30 minutes. So your task that I'm going to give you today um, and for this week is going to take you about 25 to 30 minutes. And so at the end of the week, instead of having four or five assignments completed. You'll have worked for four or five days on for 20 to 30 minutes on a science project, but maybe you only are going to have one actual assignment completed at the end. So that's the goal. That's what we're looking at for moving forward. If you have questions, please reach out. I know there's a lot of information um, coming at you with this change. I know touch base with your parents, make sure they see that this is a change. Um, but watch the next, I, I'm in thinking two videos for today, um, one with your assignment and one with something else. So take, uh, go back to look. I will be here on Google Meets here shortly. Um, otherwise, I don't know about you guys, but I had a great weekend. Um, it was so nice out once it finally stopped raining. Um, the kids and I made a uh, be, you know, the big game of cornhole. Um, so we made a wooden cornhole game, um, for, for us to play. Cause you know, we got to stand eight feet apart. So we're just going to do our social distancing playing cornhole. Um, and then yeah, she always thinks that's funny. Um, so we did that together. That was fun. I'll, maybe I'll post a couple pictures up for you. Um, and then, oh, we cleaned out. We gave Mr. Hickey an early birthday present this weekend. Um, he had, uh, he likes to do all that grilling and, and stuff downstairs, so we gave him a nice little grill organizer um, so that it could be all laid out and organized and cleaned it all that this weekend. So those are what we did this weekend. We were outside a lot. Um, I didn't do a lot of work, which was good. I hope you didn't either. Um, send me a note. Maybe you know how to take a video. You can send me a video that tells me what you did this weekend. Um, 
and maybe just send me a note that said, hey, Mrs. Hickey, here's what I did this weekend. I'd love to hear about it. So, all right, guys, it's a Monday morning. You know me. I got my coffee. And uh, we're off to do some school here at the Hickey household. Hope you are, too. Have a great day.